say hello to Poop Dude, he'll be helping us today. The Children's Space Poop System is an undergarment with poop pouch, rubberized cup, poop processor, a series of flexible hoses conveying human waste away, air, water, waste. Rubberized cup and poop pouch are the main interface for the astronaut, so they are the parts that are molded for a custom fit. For an airtight seal, comfortable, leak-proof protection for that good feeling, not that, oh, it's a little bit off feeling. The rubber poop pouch. The closed airflow would take it down to a flexible tube to the poop processor. Rubber cup has a misting spray nozzle that is controlled by many hydraulics. Have you seen those toilets in Japan? It washes out the area with a gentle warm spray. Water, soap, rinse cycle, liquid drying agent, ending in a warm drying breeze like the restroom hand dryer. Many hydraulic valve systems or poop expanders ready for pee and poop. This is a bit of an animation. Microcontrollers send signals to many hydraulic valve systems that open up poop pouches ready to accept poop. The cup is the same way except a little bit different. It expands to aid in cleaning. Now it's time to look inside the poop processor and see what's happening. It's kind of complicated, but if we take it one step at a time, it's not too hard to understand. The poop and some pee enter into the poop spinner. The centrifugal forces push the moisture out of the poop, kind of like a washing machine, except more like a vacuum cleaner bag, only different. The bag can be taken out, used as compost, or disposed of later. Loading up the poop again, we can get a better sense of this. The poop spinner pushes the moisture out. The contained airflow and the corkscrew-like action of the spinner pushes the liquids to a collection container. A press might work also. Pee and wastewater go through the bypass. The pee and poop water are kept in a liquid storage container, like a shop vac, but with baffles. Some of the poop volume is gassed off. Could be sent to the jet pack. Next is the condenser coil. It kind of dries and freshens up the air. Water could be collected here too. Powerful fans move in a laminar flow. Heat exchangers heat up and cool down the air and water. Microcontroller. Pump and valve switcher. Water soap drying agent. Rest is put through a recycling process. Pump. Filter. You ever seen the life straw? Poop cooker turns it into steam. Electrolysis separates the hydrogen from oxygen. Here is the Children's Space Poop System in action. The poop dude feels a rumbling down below, hooks himself up, turns on the air, poops himself. But the microcontrollers work. Spray misting oscillating, turning on soapy water, drying, deflates itself. Here's the undergarment going through a wash cycle. Wireless control via phone. Here's some artist renderings that show the change in the spacesuit from current to poop friendly. steps to put on the poop solution. First astronaut is hairless. Like in ages past, the gas mask needs to be airtight. The undergarment, jumper, water cooling suit, space boots, gloves, backpack, lights. Food solutions, astronauts love food sticks. Why not give it to them in rope form on a big coil on their back? and feed it to them on a motorized spool going directly into their helmet. Hopefully their poop does not come out in brick form. Solution to drinking in a spacesuit. Microcontroller, closed air pipe, other stuff. Water or water from elsewhere. Astronauts love tang. Joke cola, all the sugar and twice the caffeine. Rum. And when they get sick they can vomit down the tube and it can be funneled into the poop spinner. Pack, poop processor, food spool, drink pack. Drink tube, vomit tube, cigar in a pure oxygen environment, food rope, nose plug, lights. Water is one of the fastest ways to move poop away. That's why toilets flush. Evaporation can only take place when air molecules move across water molecules. For these reasons, I believe that my way is the way to go. It's pure engineering with proven parts and technology.